tackling technology. Do you know what apps your kids are using or why they're on their phone so much? It's a question many parents may be asking after students in Attleboro were suspended this week for inappropriate conduct with their cell phones. New on the night team, how can you talk to your kids about what they're doing and why? Olivia Fecto spoke to a social media expert and local parents to find out what's working. Olivia? Patrice, one thing we're hearing over and over is that because of all the technology that's out there now, a mistake that may not have been a big deal in the past could now be permanent. I certainly wouldn't want to be an 18 year old kid right now because I don't know how they deal with it. Safe to say Mark Palmieri wouldn't trade places with his son, a senior at Lincoln High School. Why? One word, technology. He's pretty good about it. He's a student athlete and he's going to college at Bryant, so he's been told what he can and can't say. As teens spend tons of time on cell phones and other devices, messaging, sending pictures, posting online, social media attorney Brian Lamoureux says parents are asking the wrong questions. All they're talking about is the amount of time they're spending on it as opposed to act, asking why they're on it. But it can be an uncomfortable conversation. Jeffrey Ben Benick says he tries to keep an open relationship with his kids. We tell them how we feel and why. We give them reasons. We try to teach them like an adult. It's not just tough for parents to keep track of what kids are doing. Schools face the same issue. And in public schools, constitutional rights apply. It's not as simple as just seizing a cell phone. Lamoureux's best advice, get savvy. Download them. As, as awkward as it might be for a 40 or 50 year old to be using those apps, at least be familiar with the functionality, mm -hmm. right? Does this al app allow you to take pictures? Does it allow you to record sound? So it comes down to knowing your individual child and having the dialogue. Absolutely. Well, Emero says in most cases, schools are not tracking what students do off campus or outside of the school day. But of course, if there is any suspicion of criminal activity, police would have to get involved. Live in the studio, Olivia Fecto, NBC 10 News Night Team.